My favorite part of being a couch flipper is being able to sleep in. It's 3.27, time to get this bread. This was totally unexpected. I was driving to pick up one couch, and while I was driving, right, don't do this when you're driving, but I did end up going on Facebook Marketplace. There was a couch that was just posted for free. It was a huge sectional. It needed work like with stains, cleaning the stains, but it was literally on the way. It was 10 minutes away from where I was at the moment. So I told him, I'm like, I'm coming to pick it up right now, and he agreed. So that's where I'm about to come right now to go pick it up, and then we have another four pickups for today which I will document and I will show you what a uh, boring day in the life of a part-time wannabe couch flipper is. There it is, there's the beauty. Perfect timing too. Yeah, I was actually shocked because I posted on Nextdoor and like for a hundred bucks and I had a couple nibbles and I was like, I just was gone. I had so many messages I couldn't even keep. First sectional that I was definitely not expecting to pick up while I was driving on my route. So you never know. You just gotta sometimes check. So this one seems very sturdy as well. It's here some stains, but otherwise it doesn't really have any damages on the sides. So honestly, I think this could be a potential, I don't know, $500, $600 sale. I did notice that in the post there was also an ottoman and so right before leaving I messaged her and asked her if they did have the ottoman or they just wanted, maybe wanted to keep it for themselves and I guess she just totally forgot but she opened the garage and I brought it out so I do have the ottoman which is going to add a lot more value to this couch. On my way to the next location it's kind of like an L shaped sectional for they have it posted for 250 but I think I'm going to offer them around 220 just a little bit you know I can't. I can't go full price. I gotta bargain a little bit here. <laughs> to rearrange a few things put that one straight up so we can fit this one in we tried breaking it in the middle but it just would not snap out i'm not sure exactly why but pick this one up for 220 they wanted 250 i asked them to go a little bit lower all righty let's go to the next location there's the next one right there so yeah so she cleans you and you guys resell it yeah do you yeah. like a store or something no you just it's it all from on, home yeah back on marketplace uh, back on marketplace and offer up and we do we offer people free delivery that's oh, kind see, of our that's good thing yeah, yeah i had a bunch of people say Hey, can you deliver it? Like, yeah. Well, good luck to you, man. Hey, I appreciate Take it, man. Take care. Right. Have a good one. Yep. Well, that man was really kind. He kind of asked us what we're going to be doing, and I gave him the little spiel of my wife and I, you know, flipping furniture, and he was really nice about it. He's like, hey, man, I'm, I'm really happy. And these are the clients that I love the most because they respect the hustle. And he was like, you know, I, I'm really happy that, you know, you're able to do this and, you know, I'm all for you making money. So, you know, props to you and your wife for doing this. And he kind of asked a few questions about how we do and everything. And, you know, I was more than happy to share with him, but this is one of the big reasons why I like the side hustle. The people you meet are sometimes just fantastic people. And it's just so good to connect with different people. Now what I'm going to do is I'm heading home because I have three couches back there that are huge and I have about three more to pick up today. So I'm going to head home, I'm going to drop them off and then I have to head to the next location because I have to be there before 12 p.m. All right, so I just got home right now. My wife and I are going to unload these couches that I went and picked up, the three couches. But before we unload it, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to this GoPro. Watch this transition. Alrighty, there you go. That's much better. How do you guys like this? How do you guys like this new angle? Sheesh! Sheesh! Well, one load of couches has been unloaded. Uh, we have them all in here. As you guys can see, it's a mess. 
<laughs> there's just so much I honestly I'm gonna go pick up seven more couches today I have no clue where I'm gonna put them I haven't had this issue in a while because I haven't really been doing a lot of couch flipping but today there was a lot of couches that lined up for us to pick up so that's exactly what I did decided to stack up on some inventory and while I go and pick up the other seven sectionals my wife here which is actually one of the big biggest steps. Like if there were steps about couch flipping how to do it, having a wife is probably one of the biggest steps if you're lazy like me. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because while I go and pick up couches, she's the one that does the hardest work, which is cleaning them. I don't really like doing it, my wife does, and so that's what she's gonna be doing while I'm gone. So quickly what we have here is this little sectional here, which I think I'm gonna give to my grandparents. This is another sectional right here, these three pieces. Then there's one sectional back there, and then there's an Ikea sectional, which I've had for a while because I don't have, I lost a lot of the parts to it, which a lot of the screws. Hey, how are you? Is it in there? Yeah. I'll follow you. Is that camera on? Well, my first try trying to record something at a client's house, obviously I was gonna blur things out if needed, um, and I was gonna record how I'm picking up the couch and all, and the first place I come to, they ask me to turn off my GoPro. It's all right though, I mean, I totally understand for privacy reasons, but I definitely encourage, or it gives me the courage to continue trying it. If clients tell me no, well, obviously I'm not, I'm gonna respect, I'm gonna respect what they say and I'm not gonna do it. But I did end up picking that uh, little L-shaped sectional. I know I've sold those for around $500 before. They had it posted up for free and I offered them 40 bucks to come and pick it up. They agreed to it, so this could be a potentially maybe a three, $400 profit, which is pretty good. Stay tuned, I'll let you know. And I'm on my way to pick up the next sectional, which they just left it out on the road. I already uh, sent the money through Cash App. I'm gonna pick it up right now. And let's take a look if this is a good buy. This brown one was a $75 pickup that could probably sell for around $400. It does have some hair but and, and, and some stains, but no rips or tears or any of that, so I think it's a pretty good buy. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, I asked you to submit me a few questions about couch flipping that you were interested in hearing about. Daniel here asks a very important question. He says, what color is my bagai? Well, what color is your bagai? Well, I just got out of the client's house that I was looking at the sectional for $150. I picked up the same exact se sectional today for $40, and this one was up for $150. But it was my mistake. I did not read the description that the back actually had a crack in it. And so when she showed me the couch, she's like, so yeah, this is where the crack is. I was like, what did he say? <laughs> you know me, it's a little tough to back out, out, of, out of a deal. So I was like, Give me one give me one moment. Let me call my wife. She's the one that, you know, does all the restoring, so let me talk to her. <laughs> and after getting onto a phone call, I talked with my wife. My wife kind of figured that's why I called her. <laughs> and so she just told me, yeah, we probably will probably have to pass and I ended up passing on it. So that was also a great success. This one right here? A hundred bucks. All right, so what is the most and least that I've made on a couch? The most is that video that I posted, which I'll probably link somewhere up here. I made around $1,200, and the least, well, the least I probably lost 100 bucks on a couch. I think that's the least I ever made, or I guess, lost. But as far as actually made, I think the least was like five bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Like, literally five bucks. If I had to give one advice to my fellow couch flippers, my advice would be to make sure you put the correct nutrients into your body because when you're flipping couches, you can get pretty tired. All right, the question is, how do I start? Well, it's, it's actually pretty simple. The biggest thing is just to go on Facebook Marketplace and offer up and I always recommend to start off with free couches because honestly, there's zero liability. If you get a couch and it's, say it's broken or you can't sell it, well you can always take it to the dump. Sometimes they even take it for free. Sometimes you'll pay, I don't know, 30 bucks or whatever it is, but there's not a lot of liability involved. Then later you can start transitioning into sectional couches and higher end couches that require a lot more capital. 
any future plans with this business? Well, I think as of now, I'm probably gonna keep it just part-time and like a side hustle, just because I've noticed I tend to put my hands into too many jars, if you understand what I mean. I just try to start a too many different side hustles or too many different businesses that I can't even keep track and it's just, I, I should probably just focus on one business and make it grow and make it a lot more profitable. <sighs> All right, so this one kind of puts me on the spot. Anna here asks, how much does Martin get paid? For those of you that don't know, that's my son. I have this agreement going on with him that if he helps me clean a couch or two, I give him some of my sparkling water because sparkling water is for rich people. Since inflation, do couches sell for more? Great question. I really have not noticed a big of a trend as far as inflation goes. I did notice and I've heard other couch flippers say that it has been a lot more difficult to sell a couch, or I guess it takes a lot more time to sell a couch, but they are still selling. So to answer your question, I wouldn't say they've been selling for more. I would just say that if you post it for sale, it takes longer for them to sell. To summarize, this was definitely one of my busier days. I ended up picking up eight couches for a total of $825. Based on my prior sales, I'm projecting to have a total revenue of $3,450 or $2,625 in profit. But that does not include insurance and gas expense. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of a four-figure couch flipper. And I know you already have, but if you haven't, please drop a like. And until the next video, do